Alright, this is my last update on the one ton build. The only reason I'm making these videos is not really a how to, because there's a few other videos online that uh, do that, like War Paint JKU. Very good channel. He does that. Ben from ben, uh, JK Gear and Gadgets. He has one ton swap review, uh, installations and, you know, installs and how to do everything. I'm more showing what current parts that I'm using and what difficulties and, that I've had. Um, let me first off say, you guys, I'm a nurse, okay? I don't work with tools for a living, all right? I work with the vital signs machine. I work with the computer, all right? Um, I work with medications. So this is, like, different, okay? A lot... I've taught myself everything that I know uh, through research on the computer and trial and error. Um, so don't judge. I've done the best I can with this. I've had a lot of difficulty. I think a lot of it has been due to my setup. So my setup before I even got into this was running the Evo high clearance weld on long arm kit. All right. And the Evo bolt on coilovers. So those were the, my two biggest issues. So I think the rear is pretty much about as dialed in as it's going to get. And some of the issues I had back here was the coil over hitting the track bar mount. This actually came over at a 90 degree, uh, kind of like that. And I cut it, boxed it, and... Well, did that all together and that bought me clearance there. I had to move these coil over brackets. These are actually over supposed to be on the edge per the kit, but I moved them like three or four freaking times uh, cycling the suspension before I finally got the clearance that I needed. Once I got this to clear here, then the reservoir would come down and hit the... I'm going to try to keep this PG-13 because of how frustrating this, this was, okay? The reservoir would hit the bolt. So, I cut off the track bar mount. I took a little bit off, sucked it in, and changed the angle just slightly. So, at full up travel, you can just, it, the track bar just barely clearances the cover. I mean, it is tight, but it's there. I'd say quarter inch, maybe three sixteenths of an inch. So, it's not like super tight, uh, like touching or anything but it's very, very close. I've pushed this as far as I can in um, uh, to still make it work. That coilover mount didn't have an issue. For the long arms, I had to cut off the upper control arm mount and roll it back. And rolling it back allowed me to bring my pinion down and get a little bit of adjustability in that control arm because when I first installed these, um, I had, that's another thing, is I had to buy super long shanked Johnny joints, because the one that were there were three inch shank, so they were probably only into the threads like a little bit. So I got six inch long shanks on these, and there is no thread problem. Even though the threads are sticking out like that, totally safe, the, that thing's going into the control arm like another like four inches or something. But the ones I had weren't working. They were too short, and the axle was too far forward. So I had to get longer ones to bring the axle back. So basically, it's just the geometry that Metal Cloak used is not the same as a stock JKU. Like on the stock JKU, this, this bolt is actually a little bit further forward. It just changes like that. So I had to cut and move and cut and move and cut and move. Um, but I finally think I got the rear dialed in. It cycles and there's no hitting on anything. And then I fixed my exhaust very cheesily, which I'll come back to. But this is like a custom dump over the axle and it was slipping down and just, you could see where it was like rubbing for the past 20,000 miles on my track bar, bump, 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 bump. just annoying. So I just got another, I just bought a hanger off Amazon and welded it up, welded it to the pipe. Done. And then I moved the brake lines. That was a fun job. Um, 
I've seen people just bend them, stick them up in. I'm not into all that. I wanted to just get rid of more problem. So I just reflared the line and moved it. Um, that's pretty much it for back here. The drive shaft actually works. So at full bump up is when the drive shaft is collapsing the most. And when it's going down is when the drive shaft is extending. So it still has a little bit to go and um, I probably should get that shortened. I mean, it works, but to be safe, I could take an inch, inch and a half out of it. Wouldn't hurt. For the front, um, thank you. I got to do a shout out to Greershaw6169. Thank you, brother. Uh, your recommendation on those offset. Right now, the joint's just twisted in there. Um, but on those offset joints, you can see now this this joint's just twisted. I just need to straighten it out in the mount. But it works. There is no binding. When that's straight, there's no binding anymore and pinching over here like it was doing with the straight ones. I got these 10 degree barns enduro. They're called enduro joints. And they're basically like Johnny joints. They're pretty sick. And then you can switch the grease fitting to either side. Um, I did have to get the drive shaft shortened. I just had three inches cut off of it. Wish I had two and a half, but it's fine. I got a long seven inch, uh, slip shaft in there. So it should be fine. Right now, the suspension is at full bump front, front suspension. This is, this is where I'm at. I'm moving to the front. The rear kind of showed you and it's pretty much done until I take it out on the trail and find out what doesn't work and what breaks. Um... As for the front, I'm at full bump. See? I got the nitrogen out of the um, hydraulic bumps. They're at full compression. And right now, that mount looks like crap. I need to move it up. Somehow I messed up. I've welded that on three times. I've welded it down, then up, trying different positions. And I didn't realize when you build the suspension, get it, get your suspension as far up as you want at full bump then set your um mounts for like a half an inch or an inch of your piston on your coil over your shock you don't want it fully bottomed but just a little half inch or an inch or something like that so this this mount's still going to go up and over here i'm at full driver bump Okay, so that's the worst it's gonna, this is the worst it's ever gonna get right now. And it's tight in here. All right, so one thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna switch this, this bolt around, put the short side over here so that this arm can actually go closer about another half an inch. And then down here, I still got a little room. So with this uh, hydraulic bump, it's adjustable. I can turn that in and bring it up, 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 slowly. I mean, we're talking quarter inch. And that will bring this up a little more. It'll bring my shock up so that I'm only, have, I'm wasting very little and I got a ton of down travel. Um, so that's the issue I'm having with the front is I'm running the reed knuckles. I'm running the RPM kit for super duty reed knuckles, uh, two and a half ton with their high steer arm, which is getting, this one's powder coated and it's not working. So they're having one nickel plated and I'm gonna swap that. That is a very tight fit in there at full bump. So over there, like I said, I can still get a little bit. And right here before the track bar mount, I had to move the track bar mount up quite a bit to match the track bar angle to the tra uh, dra track bar to the drag length so that I didn't get any bump steer. A lot of people don't do that, but my Jeep drove like crap and I'm really tired of it. So I made very sure that I set the angles properly. Uh, there's no clearance issues up in here. Everything was good and tucked. Um, so yeah, that's my, this is my last update, you guys. It's been a nightmare. I mean, this has been almost more frustrating for me than doing my master's degree, because at least doing that, I know what I'm doing. I can find answers and fix problems. With this, you go online, 
it's kind of every every jeep every rig is a little different so it's kind of sometimes hard to find the exact answers you're looking for that are correct for your your situation um so yeah it's just a lot of trial and error um you know i thank rpm steering for all their help and uh i think one of my buddies david for coming up and helping putting just countless hours into it with me i would never have made it this far at the end here without a little extra push um that's the the uh sway lock at full bump <clears throat> i just got those tacked on and looking very good i'm kind of happy with that i need to maybe if I'm going to bump it up a little, I need to just trim right there a couple business cards off. But that's where I'm going with this. The uh, batteries are in. I can't wait till the welding's done and I can hook up this badass digital Genesis and get rid of the old one. And my tail lights are in. Except this side. I have got what port a jack and I've modified it to go inside here and I've pushed this whole thing out and it's about straight again now what's bent is the freaking metal cloak body armor so i'm gonna have to take this off and kind of just tweak it back straight and then i'll, I'll fix this again i'll sand it down and spray paint it and clear it and make it look really pretty there's no way i'm spending i was gonna take it to a body shop but you know what forget it that's just it's gonna happen again and that's more money for mods i can just do other things like get you know, frame, frame chop, aluminum bumpers, stuff like that, and get rid of these, you know, hard rock bumpers. So that's, that's something I want to do down the road, get a roll cage in it, really sick Genrite roll cage, you know, I want to cut the B-pillar right here, get the removable B-pillars with their cage, so you can remove the B-pillar, remove all your uppers, remove your hard top, gut it, it'll be sick. Um... I mean, you already drilled 400 holes into this thing now, so there's no no stopping. Um, so yeah, that's where I am. Full bump. Droop droops this thing. Literally, it droops it all the way till it's sitting on the ground. So it's got very very good down travel in front. I wish it had a little bit more up, but it is what it is. Anyways, it's just been a very frustrating thing. So anybody doing this out there. Um, it's not easy. It's not, it's not an easy thing. It takes countless hours. And, uh, if anyone has any questions, um, on setup or how to do things, throw it down and I'll answer to the best of my ability. All right. Take care guys. Have a great day.